Welcome to the NC Spin After Spin. Additional comments from our panelists just available on our website. John Hood, what do you wish you had said on last week's show, but you didn't? Well, Tom, this is a case where I said something, but I didn't really fully explain it or have the time to fully explain it, and it has to do with the Ninth District congressional race and calls for a new election. It's entirely understandable why people are not only calling for a new election, but expect a new election after the allegations of uh, ballot tampering and or mishandling or whatever that may have happened uh, in Bladen, Robison, and perhaps Columbus. other counties. Yeah. Uh, but here's the thing that concerns me about this, and I've said this before, but let me just explain a little bit further. Uh, we have had elections thrown out before, including fairly recently, even in places like Robison, based on either mistakes or, or shenanigans. Uh, in those cases, it was pretty clear there were enough ballots in question to have determined the outcome of a very close election. This is maybe not that case. We don't necessarily know that there are enough ballots in place because the, the way you get to enough is to claim that ballots were thrown away, but we don't know how many or if any were thrown away. So the, the problem here is the precedent that it might set because it is important to remember that we have never held an election where there have not been illegal votes cast. We had hundreds of illegal votes cast without any dispute in 2016. People voted, attempted to vote twice. People voted who were felons who had not had their voting rights restored. People voted who weren't citizens in a few cases or weren't supposed to vote in North Carolina. A variety of issues that but have happened Most in the of past. those caught and not counted? Well, the point I'm making, Tom, is there weren't enough to determine the outcome of the election, so gotcha. we didn't stage a new election. Right. There are people who believe that for every hundred people that are called, another 500 people do it. So for them, the fact that there is some evidence of vote illegality suggests that it, the election result is tainted for them. Now, we can't have this very nebulous standard. Well, if, the, if someone believes that the election is tainted, we're going to hold a new election. I think we need a much clearer standard than that because there is a potential that if a Democratic elections board views things differently from a Republican elections board, now that we know we're going to have partisan elections board, uh, there is danger here of throwing out an election that would not have changed the outcome even if no illegal votes had been cast. That is a dangerous precedent to set. We need to be very careful about it. I'm not arguing that, that you couldn't have a standard like that. You could say something like if the candidate is clear, has, is, is proven or there's strong likelihood right. the candidate involved in it did something illegal, that would throw out the election. There are some ways to do this, but our current standard is dangerously nebulous. So, so does that need clarifying? Absolutely. I think that the, the, the legislature, not right now because it'll be suffused with partisan rancor, but we need to clear, clean this up very quickly and or have courts try to interpret this in a reasonable way because this is, this is a, a, a troubling situation. Yeah, you can in. see a scenario in which every time we hold an election, someone suspects there might have been voter fraud, so we end up in court cases. Well, and, and that happens. It's just that it, it, in the past, one of the ways that those gets resolved quickly is that the, it, is cl it is clearly shown there aren't enough ballots to have affected the outcome, and so right. they certify the election. That's where this is a dangerous precedent. But we don't know. Will we ever know? I hope so. I hope that we have, from the investigation from the Board of Elections or, any, or anybody else, I hope we have some certainty about what happened in the Ninth District. And if there were enough ballots to change the outcome of the election, this, this question is moot. But if not, I think we need to be very careful how we handle this. Interesting. Well, thanks for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.